close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. And when you make up your mind you're going to stay here, try to stick with that original intention. Today marks the second anniversary of the passing of Rama the Ninth, and so we can dedicate our meditation to him. And while we're doing it, it's good to think about a talk he gave one time. It was the 200th anniversary of the founding of Bangkok. And he took one of the Buddha's teachings and said, this is something that all Thai people should follow. And of course, they apply not only to Thai people, they apply to everybody. The qualities that develop a good, solid life. And they start with being truthful. You make up your mind you're going to do something good, you stick with it. You don't let the voices in the mind that say, this is too hard, this is too much, discourage you. You don't let outside voices discourage you. When you know something is really good, you stick with it. In the same way, when you realize that you've got something in your character that's not all that good, you want to give it up. And you really give it up. Think about the Buddha and three months before he passed away. Once he had finally decided he was going to give up his life, then Ananda came and pleaded with him, please don't do that. And the Buddha said, that's not our, our character to take back something we've given up. He who was giving up his life in this case. So you think of that as an example. You think about whatever bad addictions you may have, whatever bad habits you may have, and just really be true to yourself in giving them up, because it is for your own true well-being. When the Buddha talks about what's being skillful, it's not that he's trying to impose harsh standards on you. He's pointing out what's really good for your own true long-term welfare and happiness. So if something is getting in the way of that, you want to be true to yourself and giving it up. That's the first item on the list. The second item is self-control. In other words, people do things that are aggravating and provoking, and you don't let yourself take that as an excuse to behave in an unskillful way. You try to control your emotions, you try to control yourself. Try to find, find some way of breathing so that anger doesn't come in and take over your breath. Because once anger takes over your breath, then the anger gets in the body and you feel you've got to get it out of your system. Or as you can breathe calmly in the midst of difficult situations, you can think more clearly. And you can exercise more self-control without feeling that you're being held in a straitjacket. So this is another way of creating solidity in your life. The third quality is stamina. In other words, when something is difficult, you find ways of reminding yourself that you have more strength than you thought, and you, and you have enough strength to deal with whatever the situation is. If you feel that you're being overwhelmed by something, and the Buddha says, think of your goodwill as being as large as the earth. People can say aggravating things, but your goodwill is larger, much larger than their aggravating things. Your goodwill is as big as the river Ganges, it's broad, it's cool. Then you realize that you can put up with a lot of things that otherwise you might not have thought you could. And then finally there's generosity. If you go through life just holding on to things, holding on to things, no matter how much you've got, you're poor. It's when you're willing to share, that's when you realize how wealthy you are. And that gives a sense of energy to the mind. So it has the energy to exercise its stamina and to be exercise self-control and to be true. So look for ways in which you can share things that you've been holding on to that you don't really need. And this can apply to things outside. It can also apply to defilements inside, because all these qualities apply to the meditation as well. You want to be true in the meditation, control the mind, show some stamina, and then be generous, give away all your defilements. You don't have to hold on to them. And that way develop some solidity in life. For those of us who knew, that, knew of the Thai king, we, we like to keep his example alive. And this is how you do it. You by practice the Dharma that he recommended that we practice. So look at your life and see where you're not being solid in your goodness and try to develop these qualities. And that'll be for your own welfare and happiness. <laughs>